Walker's go. For singing glee with a smoothie three. Last but not least, and with Bud Heaston. <laughs> very much. Hello, Gracie. Hello, Bud. That said you was a pretty girl you were with last night. Oh, Gracie, last night I was with you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> well, that's a nice complimentary little opening. Uh, Bud, why didn't you take me to Sarah? It's such a nice place. It only cost $10. And well, besides... Gracie, you know how I am about going to a place that's full of picture stars and big personalities. And... <laughs> you mean you're a little shy? Yeah, about $10. <laughs> Listen, I've got some swell news for everybody. Oh, what is it, Poopsie? Gracie, I'm no longer Poopsie. No? From now on, I'm Snoopsie. Ah! Oh. I've just been asked to write a guest column for Ed Sullivan. Who's that? A newspaper columnist. Oh, I never heard of him. He's, uh, he's read all over. Oh, an Indian. <laughs> when I say he's read all over, I mean he's syndicated. Oh, I was syndicated once. You were? Am I left down once in the car? No, 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 no. You mean vaccinated. Oh. When a columnist is syndicated, it means they run all over the country. Oh, you mean like Eleanor Roosevelt? <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Anyway, I'm writing this column, and if you hear of any gossip, let me know. You oh, gossip? Like to very well, well, listen to oh, this. You got well, well, did, let's you, hear it. did you hear about Gene Autry? Gene Autry? Mm-hmm. No. What well, about him? His horse is going around Hollywood wearing dark glasses. His horse is wearing dark glasses? Yeah, he doesn't want to be recognized. He's ashamed. Ashamed of what? Well, it's going to be one of Crosby's horses. <laughs> well, that's a nice bit of news. Say, Artie, you ought to know some gossip. You've got a house right in the middle of the movie colony. Yeah, that's right, George. And Sheridan lives on one side of me. Who lives on the other side? Who cares? <laughs> Well, uh, can you tell me anything about Sheridan? Well, every night, as soon as she rushes up to her room, I rush up to mine. What happened? I don't know. She's always a shade ahead of me. <laughs> well, thanks, Artie. So far, I've got nothing for my column. George? Yes? Come on. Oh, you cut the thing. Now, I, I don't want Artie Shaw to hear this, but oh, this is really scandal. Mm-hmm. He was at a party the other night, and uh, he got a certain girl out in the garden by telling her he'd teach her how to play the clarinet. Yeah. And that she gets sore. Why? He taught her how to play the clarinet. Uh, who, who was the girl? Well, I, I don't want to mention any names, but um, would you like to hear me play Dinah? <laughs> Uh, right now, I've got a column to write, you see. Senor Burns, yo tengo una noticia para el periódico este de los... Artie, Artie, what does your guitar player send you all these things? Well, George, you know, we're playing at the Palace Hotel in San Francisco, and he's sore because he's not staying at the Palace. I see. So I got him a room at a little Spanish hotel, the El Flapo. <laughs> the, uh, the El Flapo? The sí. some hotel. 50 cents a day, and for 25 cents extra, they throw in your breakfast. What's wrong with that? They have to throw it in through the transom? <laughs> Look, senor, the El Flapo is a nice hotel. Every room has a bath. With leak warm water. <laughs> leak warm water? You mean loop warm water. Leak means it comes through the ceiling. That's the El Flapo. 